Cops are meant to protect the law and make sure people can conduct their business safely. There are numerous occasions when they have to deal with store owners or retail workers. Instead of acting calmly, they often end up causing problems for them. I do not have to prove my existence to you. Come here, dude. Here's some instances when police officers go up against retail workers or store owners. Starting off is Kevin Penn, owner of Star Spirits and Beverages, who called Dakota Police for a robbery at his store. Cops soon came over to his shop but would not listen to him as he was carrying a gun for the thief. He tried telling them that he was the legitimate owner of the shop but the cops just wouldn't listen to him. Kevin was pinned to the ground and arrested for doing nothing. He was later found innocent and had to be released. Since then, he has sued the Takata Police Department and the cop who punched him. Up next, this business owner was working late in his clothing store in the small North Bay city of Tiburon, California, when this cop came over to him and started asking him these weird questions. Hey guys, you guys, I've never seen you open this late. Yeah. Are you just restocking? No, I'm just doing our thing. What's just up? doing your thing? What's yeah. your thing? What's up? Well, I just, I've never seen anyone in the store this late. Is that late. a problem? Okay, no, 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 just chill, just chill. Oh, Is that a problem? No, sir, there's no problem. I'm just, I've never seen anyone in the store this late. I wanted to come check in, make sure there's everything's no okay. There's no problem going on. Okay. Yeah. Are you guys restocking the store? There's, or? there's no problem going on. Why are you here so late? It does not matter. It does matter. To who? To me. Why? Because the store's never open this Is, late. Is it your store? No. And then what? No if it's not your store, what's the problem? I'm making sure that everyone is okay there's down no here. There's no problem going on. So if you have a problem, you let me know right now if there's a problem. I just want to know why you guys are here so late. It does not matter. It does matter to me. It does not matter to me. It so does. if you have a problem, you tell me right now if you have a problem. I don't have a problem, sir. Do one of you two own the store? No, or have I, any reason do to not talk to anybody problem. else. Talk to me. You're talking to me right now. No, I'm talking to all three you're of you. Not, all you're three talking to me, store. sir. Okay? You're talking to me. Call your supervisor and let him come here. He's already on his way. Okay, so when he's here, let you let me know. No, why don't you come out here for me? Is this your store? He, well, so what's the problem with having three black people in the store? He, you keep emphasizing black people. That's not yes, what it's, yeah, you cannot tell me you don't see that. You see that three black people in the store. What's the problem with that? I see three people in the I store see black at people 1 in o'clock in the morning. I see 1 o'clock in the morning. This okay. street's closed up at 9 o'clock at night. There's okay. nobody here. Okay, so what's the problem? That's the problem. Okay. This street closes at 9 o'clock at night and okay. there's never anybody in here. Okay. This isn't regular business hours. There's okay. no customers in there. Okay. Is it your store? That's all we want to know. Who, who, like, do you want to know why? I want to know what you're doing in the store at 1 o'clock in the morning. Okay. If I tell you it's my store, then what? Then show me that it's your store. I do not have to show you nothing. If I tell you it's my store, then what? I do not have to prove anything to you. Is this if your I store? tell you if it's my store, then what? Aren't you glad we're looking out for your store? I am glad you're looking out for my store. But okay. if I tell you it's my store, then what? Then you should be grateful that we're being as, as diligent as we are to look out for the street. That's all we do. Okay, it's my store. Okay. okay. The cop called his supervisor, but he had the same attitude as he kept asking him about what he is doing so late. I do not have to prove anything to Actually, you. Actually, you do. Sir. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. To who and to why? Oh my God! I do not yes, have to prove my existence have to, prove to you. Who you are? I do not have to, have to prove my existence to you. You are in the store yes. after hours when yes. the stores are closed okay. on the street all night. Okay. The last store that closes is Sam's Anchor Cafe right over there, okay. and it closes at 10 o'clock at night. Okay. There's three people in the store in the middle of the night. Okay. We are doing what we're supposed to do. We're looking out for our community. Okay. That's all we're doing. Okay. That's it. You're looking out for my community. That's yes. what you need to say. If you're if this is your store, you're No, not if this is my store. I've already told you it's my store. Don't use the word if. Okay. I've told you it's my store. Okay. I do not have to prove my existence to you. I do not it's have not to your existence. You're you in a location piece. that we have never you seen you before. Piece. You said your piece. It does not matter where I'm at before. I do not have to prove to you that where I go, that I'm right here. Why I have are you to getting this information that you don't have to prove that you listen, are? Listen, you're not listening to me. Because you're not be making sense. Just because I am making no, sense. No, you're not making sense. Because you have not never seen me here before, I do not have to prove to you that I have to be here. That's what I'm saying. Let me ask you a question. Yes, ask This me. is your store. Yes. So the next time yes. I come here and there's yes. three totally different people here. Yes. I don't care what color they are. Okay. Three people in your store at two o'clock in the morning. You want us to walk by and not do anything? 
Because we you, can. You've seen me. We can do that. You've seen me. All right, so I, I want to wrap up this conversation. We're wasting time. So what's going on? What, what's up? What's the next step? Prove can to us just, that you have keys. Okay, okay, wait, wait. There you go. That's a perfect okay. thing. I just asked I for that. Okay, okay. Look, you know look, what? Put wait. the key in the door and we're out of here. Put the key in the door? Put the key in the door. If I asked you, you if this is your store. You have the that key That is what I'm telling you. There you go. Stand back, please. Do not raise your voice at me. Put the key in the door. Don't raise your voice at me. Just chill. I'm going to put my key in the door. What's that? That's your store. Thank Thanks, you sir. That's all I need to know. Thank you. See ya. Thank you for your time. Can you put the key in the door, key in the door first? Huh? Can you put the key in the door, please? I'm not going to put the key in the door. He already you told me. Chief of police is walking that's away. That's your supervisor. Okay, we're good. We're he said walk away. We're good. We're good. We're good. After this incident, a four-hour heated virtual community meeting occurred as the business owner said the cops racially profiled him. He was later awarded $150,000 in legal settlement. Next, we have a 30-year-old man and a 21-year-old woman who were trying to steal in bulk from Costco. They gathered up laptops and other items and tried to escape from the fire exit, not knowing what was ahead. Just wait for him to come out. Yeah. He's just going to run out with his laptop. Yep. You guys setting up a little uh, theft scheme, huh? Come on, baby. It's coming this way right here. trying to kick that door open from the inside. So mm. these guys all stand there waiting. Hilarious. Door goes boop. They're all standing there with all the TV with they the, the computers They had the property with them? Oh yeah, and their okay. hands are like, uh oh, drop it, try to take off, and they just grab it. Both of them were booked for thefts as they were both attempting to steal electronics worth more than $2,000. Moving on, these cops stopped a guy for speeding right in front of this store in Gilbert, Arizona. While they were interrogating him, the owner came out and gave the cops a nice lesson. Looks like a great party and all, but if I see one more car, everyone's gotta go. Do not block my driveway. Understand? Don't, don't, don't block you it. You two, yeah. put your car on the side of the street or something next time. Yeah. I'm gonna buy something. Hey, sorry, Reggie, you're right. You should ask for your lawyer. Don't answer any more questions, dude. There's a reason why you read that you that was right. Yeah. Yeah. Ask for your lawyer. Don't answer any more questions. You don't have to be rude, but just, just practicing your rights. Yeah. Because these guys ain't your friends. Yeah. Yeah, because they get extra money the more DUIs they give out, so they like to give sober people DUIs too. I heard him say you're under arrest. What? What for? Reckless driving. They're arresting. Wow. There's a person in the middle of the lane. Wow. Hey, on a side note, just aside from them, I would take pictures of everything. For the tow company, not nothing to do with police. Just the uh, yeah, I, I got bad experiences I with tow companies. Thank you, man. Yeah, they'll steal all your shit. Scratches, bumpers hanging off. They towed my trailer one time. Dude, they messed everything up on my trailer. Next up, we have this 33 year old Brandy McGowan carrying a knife inside this Walmart, threatening people. Luckily, someone called the cops, and Deputy Christopher Witt from Marion County Sheriff's Office soon came over and took control of the situation. Drop the knife now! Drop it now! Drop the knife! Drop the knife now! Drop it! Get back. Back up. Drop the knife now! Drop it. Drop the knife. Drop the knife. Drop it now. Put it down. Put the knife down. 
Put it down. Put the knife down. Put it down now. Put the knife down. Put it down. Drop it. Drop the knife. Put it down. Put the knife down. Put the knife down. Drop the knife. Drop the knife. Drop the knife now. Drop the knife. No, I didn't. So you're kidnapping me? Mick Gowan was detained in handcuffs and was sent to the hospital for evaluation and then to the Marion County Jail. Now, up next, we have someone named Robert Banks. Rob Banks. Just wanted to put that out there. So Robert Banks was caught stealing clothes at Walmart on surveillance video. As Banks was exiting the store, New Haven police officer Christian Kafora ordered him to stop for suspicious activity, but he didn't listen and stormed towards his car. Let's see what happens next. Come here, dude. He's going all the way towards the front again. Towards the entrance exit. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're up to stop. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Get out of the car. I'm sorry. Get out of the car. I got t-shirts. I only got t-shirts. I only sell t-shirts. I only sell t-shirts. Shut up. Give me the keys. I only sell t-shirts. I only sell t-shirts. I only sell t-shirts. What do you got there, bro? Nothing. What do you got there? I only got teasers. I only got teasers. I only got teasers. Down on the ground. Down on the fucking ground. I only got teasers, officer. Down on the ground. I only got teasers. Down on the ground. I only got teasers, officer. Down on the ground. Officer, I don't know behind you. Get your hands on your fucking pockets. I only got teasers. Down on the ground. Put your hand on the fucking ground. Look, officer. I only got teasers. My ass is up. My ass is up. My ass is up. My ass is up. Turn over. Turn over. You want teasers. Turn over. All right. I know you're behind me. Turn I'm over. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Turn over. I just say the again. I was so t shirt. I was so shirt t shirt. I'm sorry. I was so shirt t shirt. Give me your hand. I was so shirt t shirt. I was so shirt t shirt. Give me your hand. I was so shirt t shirt. 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 Richard Smith Jr. attempted to walk out of a Walmart here without paying for a cart full of merchandise. When the cops were called, he resisted, did not comply with them, and ran away. No, now for you're what? being detained. Detained for what? Okay. Detained for what? Because I have to identify you. Identify me for what? I have one more pay. It did not work. I made a mistake and walked right back to the register. Okay. While no, she raised her voice at me, no. I asked the girl to help me. Come on. No. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Listen, officer, uh -uh. you're touching me. I will spray you. You're touching me. Stop put, touching put, me. Put your hands behind your back. I'm not. Stop touching me. Okay. I didn't do anything to you. Why are you touching me? Like, what is wrong with you? Listen, What's going get on your with hands you? out of your pocket. Officer, stop. Listen. Officer. Car. What's wrong with you? The car. What's wrong with you? Get in the car. car. Get in the car. 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 car.
Hey, why are you hating me? Come and record it. Why are you hating me? I will get in the car, no call. Get in. Sit in the car. All right, in then the turn and get in the car. What's wrong with you? Then gang in the I can't. Y'all got me stuck here. Okay. Take a seat. Sorry. Sit everywhere. Hang it. I said one place. Get in one the One place. Car. All right. You just make sure you're in my face. Over my warm my pain not working. Get in the car. I'm not getting no call you tennis. Supervisor's right behind you. Smith was later charged with assault on an officer and other multiple offenses, including possession of a controlled substance.